Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's pre orders, and they are live. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. All right, so here we've got this week's pre orders. So if you do jump over here to Games Workshop's web store, you're going to see that under pre orders, it's listing 37 different options. But realistically, it's the two weeks pre order period from this week, the new pre order stuff, the pre order period for the two weeks from last week. And then for whatever reason, Games Workshop did not switch over the Space Marines, which have been on pre-order for the last two weeks, but are now officially available to order. So it should be substantially less on the pre-order list than is here, but all the Space Marines are still on pre-order list, even though they're actually available to order. So as confusing as that was, as confusing as the two-week pre-order period has been, I think it looks like it's the type of thing where Games Workshop's going to keep it in effect. We know that they prefer to have the two-week pre-order period because a lot of stuff gets purchased directly from them as opposed to from retail stores. So they get a substantially higher cut, much, much better profit margins on that. It also gives people a little bit more time to prepare for purchases, knowing that they have like two weeks to pre-order that. So they can kind of like hobby budget accordingly. Now, that being said, we'll have to see if this becomes a permanent thing. We'll have to see also if people enjoy it or not, or if it just causes more confusion. Obviously, it's new, so it's a little bit confusing for now, but I would imagine if it stays in effect that everybody will get used to it pretty quick. So that being said, start off, we have the Warhammer Day 2023, the Ancestor's Wrath. So this is the new Leagues of Votan Einherr Champion special edition here. And the product will be available until 8 a.m. GMT on Monday the 6th of November. So you have like basically like two to three weeks to pre-order this. And if you do purchase it, it's going to be made to order up to 180 days to dispatch. Now, a lot of times they'll already have a bunch of these made up, so they'll send them out right away. But if they run out, they will made to order and dispatch those other ones within six months. So very cool. Definitely going to be picking that one up. Next, we have the Warhammer Horus Heresy Exemplary Battles of the Age of Darkness Volume 1. So it is 50 bucks for this. It's important to note, too, that it's only available from Games Workshop. And then also, it's only available while stocks last. So if you are interested in this exemplary battles and the rules for the Fulgrim like Ascended or whatever they're calling it, it looks like this is going to be a limited edition book, which is very strange. I would imagine this would be part of the range, especially if it's going to have rules specific to like a model like Fulgrim. But maybe Games Workshop is just going to release the data sheets for him separately. I don't know. It just seems very strange that this is a available while stocks last item. You would expect that more so with something like the Warhammer Horus Heresy Legion of Sardis Battle Group. Like we see, that is available while stocks last. I did a breakdown on this in the last video and broke down like the value and everything in this set. It's basically about like 36% savings over purchasing the individual items. So you're saving like 100 bucks on this if you were going to pick up everything inside this set individually. So a very good deal right here. It is on pre-order for two weeks. I do expect limited amounts of these, so it should sell out relatively quickly. But based on how excited people are for this, obviously it's Horus Heresy, not 40K, so it's going to be substantially less excitement. But depending on how many Games Workshop made, it may be very difficult to get a hold of this at a discount rather than ordering directly from them. So we'll have to see how that plays out. All right, and then we also have the new Mark III Tactical Squad, 20 bros in this squad for 75 bucks, And we do see that's a $5 decrease on the price over the other Tactical Squads available. So I don't know if that is just a sort of like translation error, or if that's going to be like permanent. Uh, but nice to see actually a price on something coming down. And then next we see the Daredeo Dreadnought Ambulus configuration. So very cool, all in plastic. It is worth note that all of the Horus Heresy stuff, unless otherwise specifically stated, has been legends. So it's no longer usable in 40k, unless you're playing with the special legends rules. So if you are a 40k player, do not buy any of this stuff, unless you fully understand how the legends work all right and then moving on here we have the storm vault skirmish case so 60 bucks for this bad boy it is a little something different games workshop trying for some innovation uh so we see the little silicone like fingers and uh that's basically gonna keep your models from bouncing around and the plastic case gonna keep them from getting busted up it's 60 bucks it's expensive here we can see in the picture 12 models being stored in the case and these are all on like 40 millimeter bases with the exception of the griff hound so if you're using smaller models, you definitely fit more than 12. But as far as 40 mils go, it looks like 12 is pretty much packed solid here. So we'll definitely hear from the community on how well this works. The old foam cases work perfectly fine as well. Um, this is a little something different. We'll have to see how the silicone works. I would imagine that they've at least adequately tested it. 
So theoretically, it's going to stop your miniatures from breaking mostly. But do keep in mind, if you see any reviews on this product, that the people who are reviewing it got it for free. So the real question is, is this thing worth free? Of course, anybody would take it and use it for free, but is it worth 60 bucks? That's up to you. All right, and then moving right along here, we have the Dark Coil Collection. So already sold out on the Dark Coil Collection, 1,000 signed and numbered copies worldwide, 160 bucks for this. Pretty pricey as that's like over 50 bucks a book, but the limited edition stuff is always popular and always sells out. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now back to the video. And then we see the Fall of Cadia hardback. So these tend to sell out pretty quickly as well. Uh, the hardback stuff is limited, not quite as collectible as the limited edition numbered and signed copied but very popular and definitely a collector's item here. Nonetheless, 35 bucks. I'm sure that'll be gone before long. And then we see some of the other stuff, the Forges of Mars in paperback for 25 and then Angron the Red Angel in paperback for $17.99. We have White Dwarf 493 and the Wrath of the Lost paperback, $17.99. And now we're just getting into the uh, stuff left over here. And now we'll see actually that the pre-order has been removed and these are all add to cart items. So realistically, a lot of these should be under the new release tab, not the available for pre-order tab. But I'm sure Games Workshop will correct that at some point in time. Uh, we do see all of the Space Marine stuff, including the data sheets, all of the new models, the codex. And then we also see all of the new Warcry stuff, the Cruel Boy Monster Killers, the Vulcan Flame Seekers. And then, of course, the Ravage Land Scales of Talaxis and Warcry Hunter and Hunted. So we essentially have two different weeks worth of pre-orders that are on a two-week pre-order period. And then also the Space Marines, which are now available to order because their two-week pre-order period is up. So this is essentially three weeks worth of releases all crammed onto this page. So it looks like there's a lot more here than there really is. So yeah, very cool. Uh, definitely lots of stuff coming out from Games Workshop here. We have some limited items selling out very quickly. We have some other pre-order items that are limited, probably going to sell out relatively quickly as well. We've got a little bit of innovation in the cases. We've got some Forge World stuff returning in plastic. Special edition Votan model. Lots and lots going on here. The new Space Marine Codex officially out. All the new Space Marine models as well. I am definitely excited for it. I actually just got my codex. And while I've already taken a look at quite a bit of the stuff online, definitely looking forward to actually like thumbing through it myself and enjoying all of the art, lore, and then of course, you know, thumbing through the rules myself as well. So let me know what you're most excited about. What are you going to be picking up from the pre-orders or now the available to order Space Marines? Were you able to get the limited items in time or did you miss out? Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check them out to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. I'm excited that the Space Marines have arrived. And I'm out of here.